In this video tutorial, I will explain how to make the part model, assembly and drawing of screw jack using SOLIDWORKS. So here you can observe 7 parts in screw jack. I will start with making the part model of the body. This is the body. So this is the SOLIDWORKS environment. Here take a new file. Once you take the new file, you will get 3 modules, part, assembly and drawing. Take part module. So this is the SOLIDWORKS environment in part modeling. So here I want to make this body. So here this is a symmetric object. So create this particular profile in a front work plane using sketcher. Then using the revolve feature you can generate the object. So that is something like this. Go to the front plane, then select a sketch. So here I am drawing a rough sketch like this. According to these dimensions, I will just prepare rough sketch. Go to sketcher, then take center line. Here I will take the center line like this. Then fit the center line, then take line command then draw the line like this I will draw a rough line now I will apply the dimensions so this dimension is 185 from bottom to top total length is 185 this is part T so this dia is 70 so half of that radius is 35 this is 25 so total this dimension is 185 this is 40 here to here it is 35 here to here it is 25 then up to this particular line up to this particular line this is 30 33 so 66 means half of that is 33 again go to smart dimensions here to here this dimension is 33 okay then this bottom dimension this dimension is dia is 140 so it is 70 so this dimension is 70 then this height is uh, this height is 20 and inside this diameter is 50 diameter is 100 radius is 50 this is 20 here to here it is 50 so it is something like this so now I, wa now I want to get this offset line use offset command go to offset this is offset take the offset distance as 10 mm then select this line so then entire chain will be entire line segment will be profile is selected then you just select on deselect this select chain option then you will get only this particular line segment then click on reverse direction so automatically this direction will be reversed then click on ok then you got offset of this particular line segment then again take line command draw one more line at a distance of 50 then again take offset command now take the offset distance as 3 mm and take the offset of this line on this side click on ok now you have to extend this go to extend command extend this line up to here then take trim command and trim the unwanted area this this area in this area this portion is to be trimmed up this portion you have to trim okay undo go to trim command trim this particular area carefully trim this particular area then click on okay then fit it zoom this area then again go to trim command trim this particular portion like this here this portion okay 
then fit it now this particular required profile is ready now here you need a fillet of radius 8 then go to fillet command take radius as 8 select these two edges okay then this fillet is ready now the profile is ready and axis of revolution is ready now exit from the sketcher see this in the isometric view then go to features tab here take the revolve feature here you click on the axis of this is the area to select the axis of revolution this is the axis of revolution select this so that's it click on ok so body of this screw jack is ready now this is body call this as body ok so part 1 is ready now again go to the new file make this nut so again I will take the front plane and I will make this profile then go to front plane go to front plane create a sketch now according to these dimensions this total dia is 50 so take 25 then this uh, dia is 90 take 45 this height is 45 ok I will make a profile like this go to sketcher then take the axis of revolution like this then take again line command then draw the profile like this draw some profile like this ok temporarily I am trimming this particular area ok then go to dimensions this dimension this length is 45 ok 45 next here to here this is again 45 ok here to here this is 25 25 here to here also it is 25 then this inside distance this particular uh, gap is this whole diameter is 38 dia so here to here dia is 35 38 by 2 directly you can do the calculation like this so this is 19 so, so this particular uh, this is 10 10 this is 10 10 so here this value is 10 This distance is 10. This distance is 10. So go to fillet. Take radius as 5. Select these two sides. Okay. Then select these two sides. So here with 5 radius, it's unable to fillet, means you take 4.8. Select these two sides. Okay. So this is the required profile to us. Now exit from the sketcher. Exit from the sketcher. Go to features. Then again take revolve feature. Revolve it like this. So second part. Not second part. This nut is ready. Now save this. Call this as nut. This is part 2. Then part 3 is screw. This is the part 3. Then again take new command, new part. Again go to sketcher. Go to the center line. Draw the center line like this. Take this length as 240. it just pan this like this the correct position then again take line command
draw the rough contour like this. Now, so here go to smart dimensioning. Take this dimension as a 38 by 2. And uh, this dimension is uh, 11 here to here this dimension is 65 by 2 then this length is uh, 13 this is 83 this is 10 this is also 10 this is 10 again uh, this distance is also 10 exit from the sketcher go to isometric mode next take the feature as revolve take the revolve feature make the hole I am going for the hole wizard then take position tab select this face then select this center then go to type of the hole so here I am typing selecting this hole straight hole then go to settings instead of going for ANSI metric settings to get millimeters here you take the diameter as M12 then select not through up to blind hole go for blind hole this uh, depth is uh, 35 here you take 35 click on ok so now you got 35 dia hole inside this by taking a section you can check that save so part 3 screw save this as screw this is the cup now again take new file so now I am taking front plane so on this front plane I want to make this particular sketch so here again take sketcher and axis center line here this is total height is 42 then take line then draw the rough sketch like this then go to trim command and trim this area then small dimensions this dimension is 45 by 2 here to here this dimension is 65 by 2 this dimension is 10 this dimension is 6 this dimension is 6 this is 6 this is 12 this 12 now exit from the sketcher then go to ISO then take the revolve feature again take the revolve feature ok fit it 
now take the front plane see this from the front go to sketcher draw a circle at the center this circle dimension is radius by dia 10 then exit from the sketcher see this in the isometric view then go to features tab so here you take extruded cut option here take mid plane option then increase the depth such that it is completely penetrated from this object you will get the shape like this now take the right plane see this from the right view then again take a sketch circle the circle dimension is 10 diameter is 10 then exit from the sketcher then go to features extruded cut feature take mid, mid plane option ok then you got this total cup part then save this as a cup part 4 is cup then go to new file part model now I am going to draw the fifth part that is washer so this one is washer front flower plane then go to sketcher draw the center line like this so dimension of this is 8 next take line command draw a rough, rough line uh, like this trim this area go to smart dimensions this diameter is 35 by 2 this is 35 by 2 inside this dimension is 14.5 by 2 this outer diameter is 25 by 2 assume that this is some 3mm exit from the sketcher go to features tab revolve it ok now save this save this as washer next take a new file art model in the front plane again I am creating a sketch go to sketcher now take the center line so this height is now 30 now I will take a profile like this this dimension is 12 by 2 this dimension is 6 and this angle is 45 degrees This is the profile. Now exit from the sketcher. Say this nice matter. We we'll go to features, revolve this. Okay. Then fit this. Go to the front plane. And in the front plane, here you create a small slot. Here go to the sketcher. At this center draw a rectangle like this. Take this rectangle length is 6. Such that you will get 3mm inside. Here you need to have 3mm inside. And width is again 3. You will get a slot like this. Now see this in the isometric view again go to features extruded cut take mid plane option 
increase this distance such as so that this is completely penetrated okay now you will get the slot screw to now last part is this tommy bar seven part is tommy bar now take front plane go to the sketcher take the axis something like this this axis length is 275 then go to the line command draw a profile like this fit it then go to small dimensions this dimension is 10 this dimension is 6 this length is this length is 62 then this angle is 45 the angle is 45 ok then exit from the sketcher go to the isometric view take features revolve feature Axis of revolution is this, okay. This dia is twelve. Okay, this is the Tommy bar. Now save this. So now I explain how to prepare the assembly. Go to the new file, then take the assembly module. Prepare a sub assembly by inserting this cup into screw. Then I am fixing this cup to the screw with the help of this washer and this small screw. So by taking this these parts, these four parts, I will prepare a sub assembly. Then I will insert that into the main assembly. So for that browse, first I will take this screw, so this is the screw, next insert components, browse, so next part is I will take cup, so this is the cup, next I will insert small screw and washer, screw to, this is screw to, then washer this is the washer so i'll prepare a sub assembly by inserting these four parts then go to mate this particular surface and this particular these two surfaces are concentric okay and this surface and this surface must be coincident okay then take these two parts like this and this washer bottom surface and this top surface must be coincident coincident tab okay after that this surface of the washer and this surface of the screw must be concentric okay then take this surface of the small screw and this surface of the big screw those two must be coincident after that 
this top surface of the screw and this top surface of the washer must be coincident. Okay. Now these four parts are assembled like this and we made a pre sub assembly. So this is sub assembly. Now check all the positions of the parts. If you see from the front, it will be like this. Now all the parts are properly assembled. These four parts are properly assembled. Now save this as a sub assembly or A1, assembly 1, S1. I will select this as name, give the name as A1. Okay, save. Then take a new file, go to assembly, body. After that, insert components, browse. The next component is nut. Next, I will take this sub assembly. Then Tommy bar. Now the assembly will become very simple. Go to mate, select this part and this part. These two must be concentric. Okay. This bottom must be in contact with this top. Okay. Then coming to the screw part, this part and this part must be concentric. Okay. Next, this will be at some height. This will be at some height. Okay, at any height you can keep it. Now you can insert this uh, Tommy bar into the hole provided the screw. Here we have not made the screw. Screw hole. Then again open the screw. Here you can make the hole. You can modify this. Now here screw hole, this hole is there at a distance of 35 mm from the this flat edge. Then go to the front plane or right plane, I will take the right plane. Go to right plane, see this from the right. Then go to the sketcher and draw a hole. This hole position is from here, from this particular face. This distance is 35 and this whole diameter is 12. Exit from the sketcher, go to the features, extruded uh, cut feature, then take the mid plane option, give some distance like this such that it is completely penetrated and you got a through hole. Then save this close this here automatically that will be that change will be reflected here the change is reflected now you can insert this tommy bar this tommy bar this particular face this face of the tommy bar and here the right side face both you make parallel both you make parallel then you insert this into this hole. These two you keep as concentric. Okay. Then you can keep the Tommy bar position something like this. Then check the front view. Then check the top view. Then keep this in the isometric view. Now save this. Now save all as final assembly. Final A. Okay. Close this. Now I will explain how to prepare the drawing. Select drawing module. So here go to the custom sheet. I want to print on A4 size sheet. So take 297 by 210 as the limits of the drawing sheet. Click on OK. Then browse. Insert this uh, final assembly. This final assembly you insert. So this is the front view. This is the top view. This is the isometric view. This is the isometric view. 
so here i can increase the scale size of front view so go to the scale go to custom scale here if you take 1 is to 2 it is becoming very big so go to custom user defined take 1 is to 1.5 okay 1 is to 2.5 you take 1 is to 3 you take okay 1 is to 3 is okay so scale size 1 is to 2 is okay now so here for isometric view i can decrease the scale scale factor so i'll take this scale for isometric as 1 is to 5 smaller diagram so here i want sectional view partial section view for the front for the front view i want a partial sectional view so for that purpose go to sketcher draw a corner rectangle like this so at this area only i want section so keep that in selection then go to view layout take the broken out section option auto is having extrude fasteners ok then see the preview so here section 20 is somewhere here to get this to the center click here and select the circle so automatically this is shifted to the center of the circle you are getting the section something like this then click on ok so now you observe you got a parcel section you got a parcel section in this area so here if you don't want you, you don't have the hatching for this screw so select screw then click on none so hatching won't be there for this particular screw so here if you want to increase the hatch density then increase the hatch density like this here also you want to increase the hatch density select this increase the hatching density and angle also angle also you change to 90 degrees so this will be like this now go to annotate small dimensions give all the possible dimensions here to here this dimension is 356 this is uh, 140 this is 100 this dimension is 182 in this way you can write all the dimensions this is the complete experiment in this we have done the part modeling assembly and prepared the drawing you can write some notes here using the note command here you can write name of the drawing like screw jack and your register number etc